you've known me for any length of time, you'll know I have some kooky dreams sometimes. Can you have a guess as to where we are right now? That's right, Antarctica. And that's the theme of this dream that I had last night. The funny thing is, the Antarctica I saw looked nothing like this. It kind of resembled a mix between what you see here and the coastline of Croatia with this with the, like the bright sea green waters and whatnot with an English town embedded into it. Can you believe that? Allow me to break down the following features that this town has according to what I saw. At least water obeys the laws of physics in my dreams. <laughs> Not always. But the lower levels is where most of the water had accumulated, not shallow water. There's no deep water. It's kind of like we had a big old rain and there's puddles everywhere. Some of it turned into like shallow water. There's kids running around in the streets. They look like they come from all different parts of the world, but there's one thing they have in common. They all share, they all look like They come from a rough part of town. And they sort of act like they're from a rough part of town, too. Like, they're going around, they're spitting, they're just kind of chasing each other. There's... Uh, <clears throat> the smaller children are curious about touching everything and just kind of going around unguided. <laughs> Parental guidance apparently means nothing in this little city. So yeah, the, the children are walking around completely unsupervised. You just get this ghetto sort of vibe. There's this flight of stairs going up between levels in a building, and there's just boxes, bags, everywhere. Like, it's blo actually blocked the staircase. You can't safely make your way down there. There's a lady kind of running sort of like what I think is a souvenir shop. Or maybe a bakery down the road. I never went inside, but it's one of the uh, the notable things I saw in the environment. As I was making my way down the stairs, it occurs to me I had just lost my shoes. So I was walking around barefoot in about two feet of shallow water. That was the color of the waters you'd find around Croatia. It was like this bright floor, this bright sea green. Now, despite how bedraggled the town was looking and the bizarre choice of location, apparently it had been quite settled in because I've seen signs of life that only a town or like a bustling village or city has. There's plenty of gossip amongst the locals. And apparently, it's through this that I learned to not drink the water that's in the area. Because it is highly toxic, or it's filled with parasitic life forms. If any, if any of you know what <laughs> amoebic dysentery is, <laughs> apparently that something like that was a risk. The water was dangerous. <clears throat> and not fit for human consumption, despite being safe to walk in. Someone was gossiping about how one lady had ingested some of this water, and then she became violently ill, and she was, like, in agony. Like, she was actually screaming in agony. So I'm like, okay, I don't think I'm going to drink the water anytime soon after hearing that. So it really was dangerous. <laughs> Don't drink the water! <laughs> kind of a classic tale for kids. You don't know what's in the water. <laughs> and despite it being clean looking, apparently it's actually very freaking dangerous. Very toxic. Or it's got something in it that shouldn't be. 
even in the dream, it began occurring to me just how bizarre the environment was. You've got a small English style town just just embedded in the middle, like just embedded along the Antarctic coastline. And it's not even that cold. I mean, yeah, there are places in Antarctica where it just feels like a day on the shoreline of Norway or something. It's not that cold. <laughs> until, it, until it decides to get that cold. We're talking about Antarctica. But there was like a town with a population of, based on what I saw, if that's a representation of sorts and not the actual physical land area, it looked like it was maybe a town with perhaps 10, 15, 25,000 people. And I mean, fairly urban looking, we'll say. And a little run down, like it's down in its luck, a little bit draggable been out of shape. It's shown signs that it's sort of deteriorated over time. You've got it. boxes and bags just blocking some of the staircases, well, one in particular. And I think it's kind of like there's no refuse bin at the industrial plant, so they use a staircase for that. Because I don't know what to do with all the boxes and whatnot. <laughs> no recycling center. I mean, you're in the middle of freaking... You could be on Europa for all you know. And then there's just kids running around the street. There's some sort of a life trying to exist in an extremely hostile area, <laughs> geographically. It's sort of like half in and half out of having any basis to exist. You know, any dream experts out there? Honestly, like, I'm not really concerned for what the meanings are. I just think it's a fascinating story, but if you want to try and break down the meaning of all this, or what the dream symbols are, be my guest. I'm sure this will be a field day for some of you. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this little story. Like, just fresh from memory after last night's dream. And if you're interested, I have another video like this. I, I do this sort of thing anytime I have like a really cool or wacky dream or a really scary one. But yeah, I might do a little video series on, on things like this. If I ever have a weird dream to, to this to this kind of depth, I'll come up VR chat and just record like my personal recollection of it for you guys. If that sounds good, if that sounds cool, let me know. I'd be happy to do more. And plus, one day, if I don't, if I don't get it out there, it's either going to fade from memory, or it's going to firmly embed itself into my consciousness. But yeah, I hope that, I hope you enjoyed that. So, have a good one. Also, please excuse the cursor. Not much I can do about that. It's VR chat, and I'm using the camera tool to record. Sometimes you see the mouse as I'm, like, moving about. But yeah. You guys take care. Have a good one.